We'll discuss one more gate problem that is recent 2016. So he mentioned the diodes D1 and D2 are are ideal and the capacitors are identical. That is, so uh, the both capacitance values will be identical, etc. The product RC R into C will be very large compared to the time period of the input. So generally we don't require that one. Assuming that the diodes are not break down in the reverse bias, right? The output voltage V0 in at the steady state is. So when you want to solve this type of problem, so first we need so for the circuit make a first the common terminal which is grounded, right? Then so whenever it is in reverse bias, so it is not breakdown, so no problem. It will be simply open circuit, right? Now for this type of problems, open circuit method is very useful open circuit method because the input whatever we are applying that is sinusoidal signal that is varying whenever a DC sources are there it is very good when you use short, short circuit method you can find easily the currents but when it is open circuit method I mean the sinusoidal signal you cannot apply the short circuit method because the current is varying right or the signal is varying so it will be very useful if you use open circuit method you can get quickly the response now if you look at this circuit, the common terminal is here, so I am applying a, a voltage source across this diode and capacitor. Similarly, same source across this diode and the capacitor. And if you find uh, some voltage here, that is I am assuming V1 and if you find V2, then I can apply a KVL to find V1 and V2. Right? So across this it will be V1, across this it will be V2. Now we will see for a positive half cycle. So positive half cycle means it will be like this. So what is the peak value is 10 volt. Right? Now both diodes will be forward bias. Now how it will be forward bias we will see. So what is the open circuit method? Open the diode. Find VA and VK. So I am doing for the. So this is 10 volt. Similarly, in the downward also, both capacitors are grounded, right? And this is R. Now, if you see, this VK is connected to ground. That is, VK is equal to zero. Similarly, for the downward also, VK is connected to zero. But what is VA? For both, VA is connected to ten volts. So, VA is ten volts. VA is ten volts. Now, we can say simply. VA is greater than VK because 10 volt is greater than 0. So diodes are diode D1 and D2 are in forward bias. So forward bias means what is the equivalent model for the ideal one? It is a simply short circuit. Now the overall circuit will become like this. So the upper diode D1 is short circuit. Here I am applying a 10 volt. And here diode D2 which is forward bias. Here capacitor is there. Here one more capacitor. This is grounded. This is R. Now what was this one? V1. What was this? V2. Now if it is very simple if you apply a KVL in the outer loop. So I am assuming plus minus minus 10 plus V1 is equal to 0. What is V1? It is 10 volts. Now, if you apply a KVL across in this loop, so what is this? So it will start from minus V2 plus 10 is equal to 0. So what is V2? V2 is also 10 volt. But if you see V1 is equal to 10 volts in this direction, but V2 is 10 volts in this direction. Now, if you apply a KVL in this loop. So this is plus minus V0 we need to find, right? If you apply, so what is the output you will get here? So plus V0 plus 10 minus 10 is equal to 0. What is V0? It is simply 0 volt, right? So, so this is the, so whenever it is a reverse bias, everything is open, so no problem. But the moment it is followed by us, both will be short circuit. This 10 volts will be simply across this capacitor. It will be like this plus minus 10 capacitor. Right? Similarly, one more is here that is minus plus, and this is a capacitor. 
right both are grounded so so minus plus 10 volts plus minus 10 volts now if you take the difference between these two voltage levels which is plus minus we know it will be simply 0 volts so this is how we do whenever there is a diodes and we need to find the output voltage using open circuit method